Welcome to video from DigitalLife.com. In this video, I'm going to look at the changes in the new build of Windows 10. This is build 18970 for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring. And then I'm here on my Surface Go today to show a change in the tablet mode. Not a massive change, but interesting anyway. So I've got the keyboard connected currently on the Surface. So I'm just going to use disconnect that. There we go. You see the familiar full screen mode here on the surface, but you'll notice, I have no mouse pointer now, let me just reconnect the keyboard and I'll manually put it in tablet mode to show you what I mean. So there you go, say so it's taking it out of tablet mode, I'm going to manually put it in. So you'll notice that the icons are spaced out and search is collapsed automatically, we've got the arrow there to go back and the on-screen keyboard, the touch keyboard option is there as well. So if I go out of tablet mode, there you can see now the search bar box is back, the icons are close together and the on-screen keyboard is gone. So it's only a, a subtle change but I actually really like that, it will make using the Surface Go and other convertibles and two-in-ones and tablets in a bit more useful, a bit easier to use because you've got this bit of extra space and uh, the on-screen keyboard definitely, I find that very handy. So if you've got your Surface or one of the Acer devices that uh, you're using tablet mode, you should see this on this new build and I quite like that. The other change to this build is, and it's something that's been in the settings for a while but it's actually active now, is the cloud recovery. So when you can go to recovery and you can reset your PC, don't worry, I'm not actually going to do it. I'm just going to show you the options. See, the options now is download from cloud or local. So local rebuilds the Windows installer file from the files on the machine. Cloud downloads them. So it actually might be quicker to download them, especially if you've got uh, issues with your local machine. So there you go, you can do a cloud recovery. It'd be nice if you could do that directly from the setup as well. I haven't tried that um, and just recover a machine directly from the, from the UEFI setup or something like that. So hopefully that will be coming soon. But there you go, there's that cloud recovery option. The rest of the changes are all fairly minor. They've fixed some memory leak issues with DWM. They've fixed some issues with uh, some Linux distributions, not running and um, and some lsass.exe crashes uh, they've some settings and uh, they fixed some issues with acrylic not showing correctly the sort of translucency effect and some magnifier issues um, there are still some known issues with this build anti-cheat software that's a familiar old one realtek sd cards and there's some minimize maximize title bars not working after cert in certain apps uh, if you do Alt F4, you can close the app. And they're fixing some issues with the device, with page and settings, uh, with the text not rendering correctly, but I haven't seen that on my device. Oh, and search isn't working on certain languages, including Polish. You can switch back to uh, English, and then back to your preferred language, and then it'll fix that for you. So the main changes are this new tablet mode and the cloud backup. Uh, and I say I quite like this tablet mode, I think it makes a subtle but useful change to it. So you can see more on our YouTube channel. I've got all the builds on Windows 10 going right back to the very first builds, also of the 90H2 developments, and I've even got things like Windows Whistler and a cancelled Microsoft operating system called Windows Neptune. So you can follow me on Twitter at Please subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.